Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, you know, most of my videos are Goodwill jewelry unboxings of costume jewelry I've won in various online auctions or unboxings that I found from thrift store finds, garage sales, estate sales. Today, I'm going to be doing, that's probably showing up backwards, <laughs> uh, a thread up box. So, um, I've been watching a bunch of online videos and I've seen other resellers have done some of the scarf boxes. I tried a scarf box about a month ago. I should have done an unboxing for that one, but this one is um, a DIY uh, fabric lot. And from what I've been seeing on the videos, everybody's getting actual clothing. It's not just fabric to use in craft projects, although that might be what some of this is. I'm not sure yet. But for the most part, everybody's getting actual clothing. And for whatever reason, Thread Up doesn't want to sell it. Maybe the color, the style, whatever. So, um, I think I paid $24 plus shipping for this 10 pound bundle of DIY fabric. Um, with shipping, I think it comes to $37. So I guess I'll have to figure out a kind of estimate for a per piece cost once I go through this bundle. So hopefully this isn't going to take too long. This is the first time I've tried filming like this, so I apologize if it's all kind of goofy. So the first piece, I'm in my closet right now. I'm trying to keep my cat out of here because she likes to climb up on everything. <laughs> uh, the first piece is, this is an Old Navy maxi sundress, size small. Looks like it's cotton. Uh, like I said, when I go to list these online, if I decide to list them online, I'll figure out what kind of uh, fabric these are all are. This looks in like in excellent shape. I wish I could wear a size small. I would keep this, but that's not happening. <laughs> uh, so I might list this. I've got an eBay store, an Etsy store, and Poshmark. Um, I'll probably try Poshmark first to kind of see what... The comps are what other people are listing it for and this next piece is taking up about a third of my box so i'm not sure if i'm thrilled about this it's navy blue faux fur coat oh extra small heat but it's ann taylor and i'll admit i did a little sneak of this sneak look at this box I looked up these coats. They're selling online, like Poshmark, Macari, etc., for probably between $50 and $100. So I don't know if that's the going price. I don't know if that's what people are actually selling them for. But that would, you know, reimburse me for the cost. Yeah, this is way too small. Um, but it has hook and eyes, about four sets of hook and eyes going down. And it has pockets. And it's lined, satin lined. So it's really nice. Coat, again, I wish it was my size. I would keep it. <laughs> and I see a lot of people are doing like whatnot and um, auctions and uh, Poshmark live sales. I haven't ventured into auctions yet. I'm not sure on your own if that's doable. I know a lot of the people I'm watching online. They have somebody else kind of going through the messages while they're showing the auctions and then keeping track of who's buying what and who's bidding what. So it's something I'm still contemplating. So I'm, I'm not going to say I'm never going to do it, but <laughs> not sure. So this looks like it could be a great beach cover up. I live in South Florida. Um, so this would be something up my alley. It's just sheer organza, like a pale pink sheer organza with a strawberry print. And you could either wear it with leggings and like a tank top or like uh, use it as a beach cover up. And do I see any tags on this? Oh, where do you, else do you find the tags? If the tag isn't on the neck 
line, isn't it? Like on the side. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, this is Sheen, so probably not worth much. Isn't that the online store before Timu came along, Sheen? It's in XL, made in China. Looks like it's 100% polyester. But again, it's real cute for a little cover-up or wearing with leggings. But I don't know if there's any value in that. See, a lot of people will send this stuff back to thread up to sell or they'll do the online auctions. So I'm not sure if this stuff is worth my time to list. Oh, it looks like I have a gown. This is kind of like a cornflower blue gown with straps. Um, let me see. R and M Richards. Not sure of the size. And it's kind of got this little flounce, side flounce, and beading on the bottom. So that's nice for that special occasion. Oh, it's lined. And I'm not sure if I see any other tags. So I guess then what you do if you don't find the tags for sizing, um, you would take measurements and list measurements in the listing. And yeah so i guess part of the reason why they're saying this is diy craft fabric lot maybe this isn't sellable but maybe you could cut it up and make i see some people are making pillows or handbags or what have you so clothing is kind of new to me so i'm gonna have to research this all a little bit more ah the whole box is falling down two pieces here. This looks like a little strapless sundress. Kind of this earth tone print. Very nice. It's got this smocked elastic, elastic in the back. Uh, Lulu Marie. Not sure who that is. Size small. I'm guessing it's polyester. It's lined oh it's got the brand name on there again oh yeah full lining lining goes all the way down and here's the tag see a lot of the clothing has a tag 100 percent cotton hand wash cold water separately color will bleed no bleach hang to die dry and then i see the style number i know a lot of people if the size isn't on here like this is size small on this part of the tag too but a lot of people are looking up um i guess it's the rn number i don't know if there's a website to go to to look up the rn number and that i guess that gives you all the manufacturing information so it's another thing i gotta educate myself on and this is the first thing at first i thought this was fabric looks like some cool tie-dye fabric but it's actually one of these let me call it like a shrug michael Somebody, Michael Sloan, sure, uh, Los Angeles, made in China, 100% viscous, hand wash in cold water, lay flat to dry. I'm assuming this is one size fits all because there's no closures or anything. It's just, uh, you know, nice cover up got fringe it's got these kind of dolman sleeves again this would be a great um, beach cover-up it goes to just above my knee so yeah it's a nice piece to have in your wardrobe and this piece I have to research more I think it's this Indian and I looked at the tag last night it's 80% silk and I don't know if it's reversible but it's a wrap skirt but it, I'm not sure how to do it it said one size fits most and see it's two layers beautiful piece I'll have to 
you know, wear this with a tank top or, um, yeah, see how, and there's two holes in the waistband and there's, one of the ties is going through one of the holes, but there's nothing going through the second hole. So, <laughs> I'm not sure how you're supposed to wrap this up. And I can't find the tag now, but I know it was 80% silk and 20% something else. Very nice. My cat's just going meow, 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 meow. She is not happy. Oh, this piece I was looking at last night, I think the zipper it has a zipper and it's broken. And I don't even see the other part of the zipper. I used to sew. I used to be a manager of a fabric store. Sew for fabrics. In Connecticut. Oh, well, I'll have to look. It's like an invisible zipper. Let me show you the dress real quick. So, it looks like I'm guessing polyester. It says voila. It's kind of the um, halter top. How does this go? I got it all twisted. Nice pattern. Halter top. Looks like it's got ties right there. And it's kind of got spaghetti straps. And then it zips up. But the zipper is broken, which is a shame. It's a fully lined. This is like a maxi dress. This would be fantastic. Resort wear beach wear, going on vacation. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to see what's going on with the zipper. Oh, I see. It came undone. So I don't know if that's fixable. Which is too bad. This is nice. This looks like a XL or 2XL. Oh, and it's kind of got the high-low hem. Oh, here's the side tag. What's this say? 100% polyester lining. Yeah, polyester and polyester lining. Made in China. Medium. All these things are hand wash. <coughs> so, and we've got this piece. What is this? Dress. And it looks like it's made out of sheer fabric, so... This is something I would probably wear leggings and a camisole or tank top underneath. Uh, Time True XXL side 20 made in China. I'm guessing this is polyester also. It's got long sleeves, then the ruched wrists and a little ruffle and it's tears. See tears with the ruffle, maxi dress. But again, because it's uh, lightweight, it'll make a nice summer piece. 100% polyester, ex exclusive of elastic. Uh, yeah. So I'm surprised. These bundles actually do have mostly, except for the one with the broken zipper, what I would consider wearable clothing. And I don't know if it's because it's the size, the pattern, the style that ThreadUp just didn't think they could sell it. But from watching other resellers get these bundles, you know, they'll look at each individual piece and they'll say, well, this one I'll list on eBay. This one I'll do in a whatnot auction. This one I'll send back to ThreadUp. So it, that is time consuming to figure it out. But I think once you've done a couple of these bundles and you have a little more experience, um, selling clothes, I think that becomes second nature, whereas me, I'm kind of a newbie to clothes, although I've been doing the jewelry selling for a, a little while. The um, clothes and the scarves are a little bit new. I just thought I would take a chance because the thread up bundles seemed like everybody was getting good results and it wasn't a lot of money out of pocket. So, hmm. This one, I'm guessing, is hand made because like I said I used to be the manager for a fabric store I made my own wedding dress I've been making clothing and home decor items for many many years there are no care tags there are no fabric tags in this and just looking at how it's made it's, I mean it's really well made it's got the boning and it's got the padded bra cups 
and it's all lined. Um, problem is, since there's no tag, I don't know the size. I'm going to have to measure it or maybe try it on and guesstimate the size. I would sell this as like mermaid core. Like I don't think anybody is going to wear this style for a prom dress right now. That's why thread up is like, that's not what's in style. But I think, see, it's got lace on the bottom. I'm trying to do themed bundles on a lot of my costume jewelry lots. I just did a goth glam for gothic glamour bundle. And yeah, sometimes I'll do an all gold bundle or all blue gold, a blue bundle. And I've um, got some shells and abalone pieces coming in. I'm thinking of doing a mermaid core jewelry bundle. So I will list this dress in, for sale online is mermaid core. It's fantastic for dress up or anime or um, I'm trying to think. We used to have a festival at the Japanese um, Museum and Gardens near me at the Murakami um, and then they started adding an anime festival to it and people would come up with all kinds of wonderful costumes. So I can totally see this with somebody with either a wig or dyeing their hair, you know, blue, pink, purple, um, and then some of the wonderful abalone or shell jewelry. This could totally be mermaid core. So always make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> um, this is very well constructed. Like I said, I used to do a lot of the Renaissance festivals, the South Florida Renaissance Festival. I would make my own bodices with the boning and the grommets, and it's very time consuming to make something like this. Um, yeah, very well made. I'm guessing it's satin, probably polyester satin. I would say dry clean on it. Oh, and this is my last piece. So I don't think I got that many pieces in this bundle because that fur, faux fur coat took up a lot of room. I'll just do a real quick count. This is, looks like a one size fits all kind of kimono robe, kind of this burgundy color satin with all this wonderful, um, this is stamped design, not embroidered, but then the lining is embroidered. The lining has this wonderful dragon, all embroidered. So I wonder if this, well, now it had a tag. I was going to say, is this reversible? But now you would see the tag. Let's see. I mean, I guess you could reverse it because that dragon is cool. And it, and the, yeah, and on the dragon side, there's loops. I don't have the tie for it, so there are loops. So I think this is meant to be worn either way. Again, this would make a great beach cover-up or, you know, and then you've got the, I don't know if you can see it or not. <laughs> this is my first time trying to film like this, doing the clothing. I usually am sitting at my desk with the camera pointed down to the jewelry that I'm unboxing. I don't usually feature myself. I'm going to be 60 years old this year. Nobody wants to see that on camera. <laughs> oh goodness, why can't I get this on? There we go. So let's see this way. And then it's got pocket. Pocket. And I don't know if that, this is stamped all over, but I don't know if that's the name of the company. Like O O O H O H. Don't know. But that's a good piece, so I'm not so concerned that it doesn't have a size tag. I would just say this is one size fits all. See, it's got the pockets on both sides. So that's what I'm saying. It's reversible. I'm guessing dry clean only because it's this silky satin and all this embroidery. Let me see how many pieces I have. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the one had the zipper that looks like it's male functioning. So ten usable pieces. I'm going to decide what to do with them, list them, whatever. Um, so $37, $36. Comes out to about $350 per piece, give or take. Um, so yeah, if you can list these for $15, $20 plus. And like I said, that um, 
and to LRFO for a coat, the initial research I did, uh, looks like people are getting anywhere from, well, listing them for $50 to $100. I'll have to do more research to see if they're actually selling them for that price. So I think if I would get my money back on just that one piece, this box was definitely worth it. If nothing else, it's a learning experience. And I just think it's funny that what ThreadUp is calling a DIY crafting fabric bundle, um, in this instance, is 100% wearable clothing. And the videos I've been watching online are mostly wearable clothing. I think every so often somebody will get a piece that's actual fabric. But like I said, I've got a sewing machine. I could, like some people are doing, make pillows or little handbags, uh, stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's just a little bit something different from the uh, costume jewelry. And it's not a huge investment. The uh, 10 pound DIY fabric bundle from Thread Up was, I think, with shipping was about 30 five thirty six dollars um and the uh scarf bundle that i did from thread up which i did not film the unboxing of that um i think it was 24 pieces for 24 dollars and i'm not sure if that included shipping or not that might uh yeah it was like a dollar dollar fifty per scarf so again i think you can there's some wiggle room there to make money it's just uh taking the time to do your research see what you have take the pictures and then decide I'm going to do an auction online, what have you. So let me know in the comments if you've ever done any of these uh, fabric boxes or other boxes. I'm really trying to get one of the thread up jewelry boxes, but they're always out of stock. But I see a lot of people do some of the purse boxes, shoe boxes, you know, the t-shirts. Um, it's, it's different. It's like you have no guarantee of what you're going to get. Um, but again, this is Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.